Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the Arrows Viper. This is a 50 millimeter 3S EDF jet. In this video, we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna take a look at all the parts and pieces. We're gonna do some bench testing. And then at the end, we're gonna wrap things up with our pros and cons. Coming up next, we're gonna see what's going on inside the box. All right, here's a look inside the box. As you can see, this is packaged really well. One thing that I do wanna call out immediately is this foam is extremely smooth. It feels very high quality. Uh, there's carbon fiber. You may or may not be able to see that in the wingtip right there, running across. That is very cool. The quality impression that I'm getting immediately, just taken off the lid, is very high so that makes me really excited to take everything out of the box and that is coming up next okay guys here is what the top side of the main wing looks like very well done i do not see any bubbles in the decals which is very nice got the horizontal stabilizer right there of course we've got the aileron y connector there winglets so those glue onto the wing tip right there and there's the only hardware that we need to uh, apply screw in here's the top side of the fuse it's looking good looking good and i can't wait any longer guys i am going to build this thing assemble it really and coming up next you're going to see it all assembled. Okay, here we have it all assembled for your guys' viewing pleasure. And these wing tips were really easy to glue on. I used Beacon Foam Tack and it worked great. And here is the horizontal stabilizer. Same thing there. It slid in pretty darn uh, tight and secure. And then you add in the foam tack or medium CA, whichever your preference is. And it works great. And this plane looks fantastic. Let's look inside the battery bay. And I put the battery in there for mostly illustration purposes to show just how much space there is in the battery bay. It should easily fit a 2200. And there's a nice little spot down there for your receiver. I've got mine slid in there. Don't even have it velcroed in, but it's got a nice little spot there. And I slid the aileron um, Y connector in underneath that spot too. So got lots of room, really nicely designed battery bay, and that's cool. And coming up next, we are going to do a control surfaces test as well as an EDF test. As you can see, we've got nice big throws. In fact, I've got more on my ailerons than I need because I can actually touch the surface right there. I can go past that, but I'm not going to do damage to my servos. So there you go. And what do you say? We give it a little bit of throttle and see what happens. I'm not going to go too crazy because I don't want to shake the camera and I really don't want to make it smash into my headboard. So. Here we go, let's see what happens. All right, so that was up to 63%. And I'm not sure what the camera was doing. All I know is I had a bunch of wind in my face and in my belly area. And coming up next, we're going to wrap this thing up with our pros and cons. Okay, we're going to wrap things up with our pros and cons on this beautiful Aeros Viper EDF jet. As far as the pros go, it looks great. Like I just said, it's beautiful. It's got a plastic nose cone. Let's get a nice tight shot of that right there. We've got hard points on both ailerons covering those up so those double as skids and servo protectors which is great 
right on the underside here. You also see the Viper, which looks cool. That's going to look awesome. Uh, you've got a nice plastic skid there on the nose or right underneath the, the battery bay, which is nice. I love things like that because it will add a durability over time. I'm never going to be someone that lands a plane like this on pavement, but that will make it so those that can do that, that can tolerate that sound, make it possible, which is cool. And these ventral fins are solid plastic as well. So I, and they seem durable. I gave them kind of a little tug test and everything seemed pretty good with that. This thing is also priced very fairly. Check the link in the description so you can see what it is currently. And that also helps support GB Linden too. So win-win right there, guys. This is also designed for 3S packs. And frankly, I'm shocked at how much power this 50 millimeter EDF jet has on 3S power. So that is a huge pro in my opinion. And really the only con, and I always have to include a con when I do these things, uh, I'm really not a fan of using glue of any kind, but it really wasn't that bad. So that's just me being kind of picky. With all that being said, like, comment, and subscribe. And GB Linden, out. Arrows Viper, made in flight, guys. All right, guys, this thing was way easier to launch than I thought. And I'm just gonna get it trimmed in here real quick. Definitely has nice low speed handling, which is noticeable. Kind of common on a Viper jet, which is cool. Got a little bit of wind that's oscillating here and there, but this is handling it like a champ. And this is the ultimate Park Flyer EDF jet, guys. Check the link in the description. Get yours from Hobby Zone. Normally I don't say that when I'm flying something just a couple minutes in, but this thing flies awesome. Come in a little closer, John. Nice and low and slow. Mm, nice little small field jet. Oh, it's perfect. That's awesome. Only thing that's missing is two of us flying it at the same time. <laughs> little formation flying. All right, guys, I'm going to come from the north and then we're going to see what full throttle is all about. It's full throttle, guys. Not bad, not bad at all for 3S power. I would definitely venture to say that this is a good beginner EDF jet. If you do not have a place to take off and land from, very good belly lander. Very easy to hand launch. And definitely attracts a crowd. There's some kids here that are really digging this jet. Man, this looks good in the sky.
and it turns and burns quite well. Okay, I'm gonna try a loop now. Not bad, not bad at all. Flip ailerons into high rates. Oh yeah, nice tight aileron roll. Do you get that, John? Of course. Nice. I just love flying it low and slow. Right by me, and then giving it a little goose in the turn. Very nice. Very nice. And if anyone's commenting that we're close to the houses, we are very far removed from it. The zoom definitely makes that look different than it is. Just putting that out there. And guys, as much as I don't want to land it, I'm going to land it. Nice and floaty. Woo! A little harder than I wanted, but I'll take it for a maiden. All right, guys, let's take a look here. See what we got going on. I use my Tattoo 1500 3S pack. And let's see what we got. 30% left, and I'm gonna put the amount of flight time that I actually had on the screen and like, comment, and subscribe. Check the links in the description. And John VHRC and GB Linden, out.